Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty. I got a wonderful little gift for you which is uh, the defense of the Antediluvian Ruins and I hope you like them just as much as I do because the Antediluvian Ruins are my favorite uh, things in, uh, this, uh, in this game. Great soundtrack, cool design. Really appreciated them. Grell moves out to spot uh, whatever is out there. And after not, uh, after not being able to find something, we're actually going to use our kill team, kill squad, which is Shattered Realm on the one hand side. Getting that big fat onslaught. Combined with a dash. Oh, look at you. Well, we no longer need to wonder where are the enemies. We already know. By the way, where is this guy? Oh, on the entire other side of the map. Well, I can tell you we're doing a little trick here. This newly spawning guy will be war price before we're killing both of uh, these fools. Continuing to charge up to the other side of the map. a solid kill. And this will hopefully teach you guys not to invade us. Because I'm thoroughly disappointed that we always need to defend our resources. What is even going on? slowly moving up the aim is to kill all enemies and that's exactly what we're going to do he and the butcher owns takes the other side um, Dilly moves up and Dilly moves up again. And then we're shifting over a bit of Onslaught. Cool. Ian continues to move up. Still be careful uh, to not move too f uh, to not use the sprints immediately. Sprint, another sprint down here. He moves uh, moves with all of his actions in. We're pretty far into the map without having spent a single dash. That will change now, of course. I think this guy might actually be the last attacker. One, and two.
The answer is he's not the last attacker. Well, somewhere out there. Oh, yeah, of course. The respawning. The respawning dude. Somewhere out there is the respawning dude. All right, end of turn. Euler moves up. Uh, we can even quick aim, which is crazy. It's one hit, uh, one point per shotgun blast. 400 points of damage. And virus on top of it. That's crazy. Shattered Realm tries to find out where the remaining enemies might be located. I do have a bit of a feeling that they might be back here. Just for safety, we're we're enabling uh, the reset. Yeah, unfortunately nothing. I haven't found a single one. Krell begins to look. There's definitely no one there. No one on the other side either. I'm not even sure where to look at this point. It must be a single per, uh, a single enemy somewhere. Maybe back here. Who knows? End of turn. Play hide and seek, apparently. What am I missing? Can't be so difficult to find a single enemy. You are kidding me, right? One mind sucker on the absolute other side of the map, of course. <clears throat> okay, we're sprinting up. Oh. 
And that is finally it. Where? Okay, so the idea is they keep on coming. percent sure if I like that design of a mission but I start to understand better what the idea was it is essentially they are slowly but surely kind of dripping in <coughs> Good, inappropriate Murphy moves over. Is the game's answer to the one round uh, win strategy where I basically killed all of the enemies in one round and then we won Well, three waves of enemies and they just uh, withstood uh, the attacks longer than I would have anticipated. Okay, defense of the ancient side was successful. Well, good, fantastic. Now, Helios 5 and 6 are a little bit... Uh, stamina is drained <clears throat> not a much, not a lot but still so I think what we are going to do is we're actually going to release one of the soldiers <clears throat> in the base and also regain some composure by the way we have found also a second um, a second hive just wanted to highlight that as well. So we'll need to kill that one as well. And this year this attack has also happened. Because some material of the last mission <clears throat> was lost, I just want to get you up to speed Construction complete. on what has happened. Sinedrian so claims to stand for anarchism. <clears throat> A true anarchism is freedom from coercion. What Sinedrian actually stands for is the tyranny of the majority. Well, and that one, tyranny wonderful. is leading them to Now the we finally got human. everyone with everyone at war. Cool. No, not Sinedrian uh, with the disciples of Anu. Yeah, well, cool. Or rather, not so cool. Personal. Where do we have Helios? Good. So, you. Ally here. Is really well uh, suited to go into Phoenix Point and save that. Nick, on the other hand, could get Rage Burst. 
It's not bad. Boom Blast isn't bad either. But I think uh, the extra carry weight goes the longest way. Bonus grenade damage and speed, on the other hand, is also great. Specifically together with the Fury 2. And that extra speed helps to not be the slowest on the field. Alright, Prime Team kind of regains composure. Then we're going to kill the Pandoran Lair and why is... Okay, we're not going to wait for long. I hope they are getting their composure back fast. Because we do have an attack over here and we do have an attack over there. many mm, well, we need a bit more stamina 35 ish would be good how far are we 33 well that must be enough for now Helios 5 and 6 are helping to defend, then we're doing the Hive next. Good, and I think we had a few soldiers uh, onto Manticore that actually needed a break. In Manticore 1, we also had our... Well, Ellen could definitely transfer to Phoenix Point. Question is, do we want Blanca to be a part of the Prime team? Because they really have good stats, deal a lot of damage, and the setup of Blanca isn't bad. With the right points invested, rapid clearance and so on, they could actually be an ultra good soldier. But whom would they replace? I could see Steven here uh, to be replaced. No offense against uh, Steven. Um, it was an interesting concept with the st uh, strong arm and then just plain out Psyker. But really, other than shooting and throwing a grenade, the offensive potential is quite limited. So let's put Steven on to Phoenix Point for now. Uh, not saying that anything is uh, that anything that he has done is wrong or, uh, or anything like that, but it would not be a bad idea to, um, to have a little bit more balanced team. Speaking about more balanced team. balancing out the load between Manticore 1 and uh, 3 so that we have 4 and 4. Very good. In terms of research, because we've now all of the new research uh, buildings up, this has increased substantially. It has taken us decades. Randolph's grandfather wasn't the first to look into this ancient civilization. For centuries, humanity has delved into the past, following myths in the hopes of obtaining knowledge. Now, through your help, I have finally discovered the truth. It's still unclear how the ancients appeared. Maybe they evolved like us, or they arrived here from elsewhere in the galaxy. What I now know with absolute certainty is that, for millennia, Earth was theirs. 
they constructed large cities and massive factories, refineries, to provide them with advanced technology and endless energy. Things humanity has dreamed about, but even that didn't save them from invasion. It started like it did with us. A new virus that attacked the natural world, mutating everything it came in contact with. The mutated creatures methodically attacked every city, guided by the alien entity residing on Yugov. By the time the ancients had made the connection, nine-tenths of their world had fallen. That is when they devised the plan, a weapon of unimaginable proportions that would destroy the invader on a global scale in one blow, a bio-engineered viral phage missile system. The records I translated say the weapon was completed. I suspect it was launched, but in doing so, the ancients purged not only the Pandorans, but themselves as well. I estimate that over 90% of all organic life on Earth was destroyed as a result. Now it is time for the Phoenix Project to pick up the pieces and take the fight to the Pandorans. I've helped you unlock all the puzzles of the Ancients. If we use the Virophage again, it must be better targeted to avoid our own extinction, along with the Pandorans. It's a desperate solution, but a proven one. Good luck, Phoenix. See you on the other side. What? And that's supposed to be the solution? We piece together the puzzle of the ancient conflict between the antediluvian proto-civilization and the Yugithian entity. If all other alternatives should fail, we could follow the footsteps of the antediluvians and use the Varophage as a weapon of mass destruction. Okay, that's a pretty bad idea. Wow. Speaking about catastrophically bad ideas. But at least I've seen the word victory. So an end is in sight and I am not going to sugarcoat it. I'm actually looking forward to end the campaign. This is a long 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 campaign anyways uh, let's go into the next mission this here is actually team number two which i very much appreciate by the way resource wise we could go for another sniper haven't even i still want to do the uh, I still wanted to do my asset team. Not sure if that ever gets off the ground. Good. By the way, these guys here need a break soon as well. So after this, we're we're being a little bit more careful. And we we'll arrest in Born in the USA. Good. We wanted Adrenaline Rush. It's not happening yet. So Little Green will just chill out. Ender Sanders got an upgrade. We wanted Adrenaline Rush and Rapid Clearance. So we're going to chill out. Tyler Trigger Finger. We'll get the Scorpion as a better sniper. Cool, I like it. Yeah, this was a sniper, uh, sniper heavy team. Rapid clearance is the way to go. Onslaught wouldn't be bad either, but I think we're waiting for rapid clearance. Uh, we already got a good sniper with Natalia. Guess what? Adrenaline Rush is the way to go. Hexer. Hexer could actually be our guy with the rocket launcher. Big fat boom blast. Yeah. Then the rocket launcher on top of it. Seems like a really good concept to me. Could use a better sniper as well, but we're just producing that, the Scorpion. Is 
same ordeal here. We got adrenaline rush already. Good question, Saiken. Good question. I mean, we need another another rocket launcher anyway, sooner or later. Mainly need strength because we're very much overloaded. Rage burst not so much. That would be great. That and boom blast, but we got adrenaline rush already, uh, so quarterback would be the right choice. What do we have here? Ein. Yeah, the PDW is totally the right weapon. I don't see any improvement here other than fast use, which will allow him. Yeah, and oh, Mind Crush would be good as well. Good. What did we want to do here? No, Kitsu, a lack of the extra ability points uh, that the other teams have, but it should be good enough. Team Toma 2 always was good. All right, we are defending against Sanhydrin and we can already see an Espeda. <laughs> good. <laughs> Ready to roll. Okay, I do have an idea. How about adrenaline rush? Actually, more than two. We've got to do something about this. Very good. Time to remote control. And we just killed an entire flank. Whether that was one or two, not sure, but I can tell you we certainly want extra armor. I'm here. at you okay well not sure where the enemies are coming from uh, almost wanted to hit the middle let both of them really fall down ready to roll Good, we're charging over. I'm on my way. 
I'll take sort of high ground. And I think we're doing a bit of overwatch because honestly speaking, <clears throat> I'm not sure how many enemies are still left. They can't stop me. Natalia takes the other high ground. And a bit of pistol overwatch. And her senders. Oh, I know. There is going to be one of them in here. Okay, cool. Well, we'll get to you in a second. Good, two turrets on that side. Seems like a great defense. Let's rock. Snipers are slowly moving towards the high ground and we're ending the turn. Thanks to our extra armor, I can even afford staying in the open for this one turn. The Sanhydrans decide to rather deal damage than to fight against us. It's an interesting decision. Applying kinetics. Engaging target. All right, they got one down. Fair enough. But not sure if that was worth uh, paying with your life. Moves to here. Uses uh, that guy over there. And starts to hit uh, the infiltrator. Advancing. Tyler. Does take a quick and shot. Taking a that. Effectively kills him in one go. And we can't really reach the sniper back there, which is annoying. Good, Ender Senders, what are we going to do with you? Moves into solid cover. And then overwatches. Holding position. All right, Jim. Moves closer. Gets overwatches and Natalia 
overwatches as well if anyone starts to move in through that door we're definitely going to kill him Well, that was your one shot. Your one opportunity. I'll try to get there in one piece. Jim, uh, what are we going to do? I think we're just going to bombard the ever living hell out of uh, the sniper. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Really good. Next up. Ender Sanders. Straight up mollets him to death. Told you team number two is not to be underestimated. I like it. And I start to understand as well, you can only get defending members if you still have a spot in your... Um, in your... Uh, transport although I'm not sure I think we got our first one uh, the first assault from um, from a defense mission and they went straight into one of our bases so maybe I'm wrong what I can tell you is this team needs a break and we're going to deliver on that We still had the option to free up a base here as well, so maybe we'll do that. No, that was Crew Haven. We don't don't want to trade with them. Yes, please. Give me that sweet, sweet tech. All right. Saiken is still in the trading game. It's just trying to get everything traded. There we go. Okay, so these guys will will just wait for a second, and we need to defend <coughs> against Sinidron. <coughs> Excuse me. We need to defend against Sinidron. Once we're done, we're going to do the Pandoran Lair, which hopefully will raise everybody's attitude. And I'm wondering. <coughs> If we want to activate the space here we got the means so we could uh, do that tell you what why not good so that and then that is our plan now as for deploying here we got our prime team And we already got a couple of points ready to go. So. For the Prime Team, as mentioned, it is mainly getting all of uh, the sweet, sweet stats up. Oh, 
More hit points. More everything. Let's see who has the lowest stats. Yeah, Murphy had the most points to invest. And even Murphy has 300 hit points now. Even our snipers almost have uh, that much. Crazy. Yeah, we do not have any weapon upgrades, naturally. So uh, we can directly deploy the squad. Good, look at that. We got ourselves a fight. Shattered Realm is going to be our exterminator this time. Move to there and hunker down. Very good. So Pretty sure we're going to find someone. Right over here. No. Well, that indeed is interesting. Let's not waste our actions. Instead, Dranks is going to move all the way over. a misclick. <laughs> well, luckily this uh, team has so many layers of defense that it really doesn't matter that much. Finally, moving up. And we'll get our sweet, sweet revenge. Alright, two down. Now I find out where the enemies are, finally. <laughs> One hit and the thing was almost gone. yet killed uh, let's really sprint as far as we can I am suspecting enemies back here but maybe I'm wrong Uh, what are we going to do? Should start using that at the beginning of each turn, by the way.
Nope, no one. Okay, well, that was interesting. Polly moves all the way to here. Catch me if you can. And we are trying to get a few new Jericho uh, guys to scout for us. But no different result than before. And a third, I think there is an infiltrator somewhere. figured that that would be the case. Let's test something real quick. Uh. Not bad. Let's continue. With the exception of very, very uh, minor damage, I think uh, it's safe to say that we overran them. Sanhydran are a bit of a pain in the rear to uh, fight against unless you have mind vision, which automatically reveals all of them in your near proximity. These uh, hidden infiltrators are a bit more difficult to detect. And unless I change the gear, there is no way of getting perception up. Cool. Next up, time for us to begin uh, killing some more aliens. Because there are actually two hive structures on the map, both of which need to go. And it will help our diplomacy because the Sanhydrans, for instance, aren't that hot on uh, the Phoenix project at the moment. Crew of Phoenix point fully rested. Uh, that is good to hear. Manticore. Well, no, that's not it. That's not it either. Okay, well. We're continuing to manufacture. Need another granite launcher and maybe a, a scyther wouldn't be bad. Snipers are good as well. But yeah, team number two gets the weapons of the ancients, slowly but surely. Very good. There is more advanced research. Hopefully we find other ways of beating the aliens. As it stands, killing yourself doesn't seem like a really, really good option.
somewhat motivated to get all bases. I don't know if that is a realistic goal, but it is definitely motivating. Anyways, um, I think we're doing this mission the next time. It's already a long episode. Yeah, let's do it the next time and then we free two bases in the next episode. If you want to free Earth from and liberate it uh, from the alien invasion, there's only one uh, thing that you need to do. You need to uh, support the research and that is by clicking the like button. I'm not kidding you. That speeds up the research in game. Thanks and have a good one. Bye bye.